So we're going to show you how to create a reference geometry about an 3D object. So all you have to do is select this reference geometry and select plane. And I can select this plane and it is creating another plane away from the 3D object. To see it better, I can just say the dimension where I want it. I can say 2 and then it will be 2 inch away from that plane. That gives us the chance to draw another object, 3D object on this plane when we already have a 3D drawing existing. I can make it perpendicular to that plane or parallel. Sometimes you may need to make more than one plane. So all you have to do is come up here and change how many plane you need. If you need three, it will make three planes. You can also make this plane um, not only on this side but on the opposite side and all you have to do is click the flip offset and it will be on the other side at the same distance. You now I'm going to show you how to create a plane that is in an angle. So to do that I have to select um, a plane and maybe in this edge and I have to click on this angle and I have to say the angle that I want 45 maybe and you see it is creating an angle plane we can also create reference geometry on a curved surface that will be a tangent on the curve so again select the reference geometry plane and I have to select the curve that I want and you see it's, it's creating a tangent on that um, surface. To make it sure I have to make a um, second reference which could be this edge and now you see I, it is selected coincident so it is perpendicular but it is tangent on that surface. I can say perpendicular and it will be on that um, other side of the curve. Often we may need to create a plane which is in between two planes, that is mid plane. To do that, we have to select the plane and all you have to do is select the plane, two planes that I want to make the mid plane and you see this option mid plane is selected so the plane is created is in between that selected two plane. I can also create a reference plane by selecting a plane and any two point of my existing object and you see now it is created a plane which is kind of an angle perpendicular to the first selected surface and going through the point that I have selected. So this is how you can make so many uh, ways to create um, reference plane.